Welcome back to Hey Kentucky. We are now happy to be joined by a candidate for governor of Kentucky. He's running on the Republican Party ticket. William Woods, who lives in Grant County. William, how are you? Good. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm glad to have you. Now, tell me a little bit about you. A lot of people may not know. What's, what's your background and what made you decide to run for governor? Uh, background, I'm a real estate agent uh, for Keller Williams, school bus driver in Boone County. Uh, spent a lot of time in contract security. Uh, decided to run because I'm tired of listening to politicians who do nothing. I like this. So you're a school bus driver. Were you motivated by the pension issue? Partially, not completely. Uh, I would say 50% was the pension issue. 50% was, uh, you know, having a governor who who just has no respect for the people he's supposed to defend. Let me ask you about that. You're a Republican, so you're yes. going to be running in the primary against Matt Bevin as your primary contender, a sitting governor right. in your party. A lot of people think that would be a crazy thing to try right. to do. What is it so that's so specific about you? Say he doesn't show respect that made you decide, you know what, I got to run. How can we have a sitting governor say that the very employees that keep the state running are thugs? Say that they're unsophisticated, they don't understand their own uh, finances, they don't understand the pension problem, when the man goes on television and lies about it. And, and that's not making it up, that's not political. He has literally went on live TV and lied about the pension crisis. Have you ever run for office before? I have. Uh, ran for city council. Uh, ran for state representative once, didn't spend a dime on either campaign, did it just to kind of get involved and see what kind of experience it would be. Uh, but this is not one of those campaigns. Well, this is a huge undertaking. I mean, to be yes. honest, to run for governor in this state, I could see somebody watching this and going, you know what, I agree with you about Matt Bevin, but right. why should I elect you? You don't have any experience running anything. This is why. I don't have $4 million to buy the governor's office. I'm not a millionaire. I don't have tons of money in the bank. I'm not in this to, to boost a political party. I'll support Republicans and Democrats. He cannot say the same. But what are the issues you would focus on? Obviously one is the, the pension crisis. Two is actually doing the job of governor. This governor feels he can legislate from his office, which he can. He has no constitutional authority to do that. We need a governor who will say, okay, the Democrats have issue one, Republicans have issue two. Let's find a spot in the middle and get both issues passed. Why don't you give me some passed. issues, because I know there are a lot of Democrats out there who are watching, looking right. for somebody. Give me some issues. Maybe you agree more with Democrats and Republicans, and maybe a couple you agree with Republicans. Uh, I agree that the medical marijuana issue, uh, it's, it's an issue that's taken too long to settle. There's clear evidence out there that it can help uh, people in pain. Why not pass it? If we want to look at recreational marijuana use later, that's fine. I won't side on that either way. I think that's something that the people should do. Uh, another issue is expanded gaming. Oh, wait a minute, you can't, you can't not side. You already sound like a politician. Are you for it or are you against it? If you got to vote, personally, what would you vote? Yes. Personally, I'm against it. You're against it. But, but it's you would not my decision. Vote. Gotcha. Right. Gambling? Uh, uh, expanded gaming. Why are we allowing tons of money to go over to Indiana or go to Ohio when we could have it right here? That's, that's a huge source of income that could go to the pension fund. It could go to protecting our schools. We have enough money that was wasted in the current year's budget. You could put two armed guards in every public school in Kentucky. Do you, do you believe that Matt Bevin will debate you? If he is a true public servant, he should. That's not a political statement. That's If I'm sitting at home, I want to see both choices. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's too cocky to actually show up. Oh, you think he's too cocky to show up? I do. All right, give me just a little background. How old are you? 30. 30. Yeah. Uh, you haven't held a public office before. No. Do you, who is your lieutenant governor? Justin Miller. And who is that? Uh, he taught for five years at uh, Robertson County Schools, former basketball coach there, uh, recently taught Augusta Independent Schools. He is one of those people that this, was, uh, this pension issue was directly affecting. Uh, on top of that, issues like state testing. He's an individual that, that felt he could make a difference if he ran with me. Now, how can people learn more about your campaign? Uh, MyKentuckyFirst.org or hashtag KentuckyFirst on any social media platform. MyKentuckyFirst.org. All right, I'm going to give you one thing here. Right. you got 15 seconds to look in that camera and tell people why they vote William Woods. They vote for me because I'm not a politician. Uh, vote for me because if you're a Republican, I'm going to support you. If you're a Democrat, I'm going to support you. If you hate politics, I'm still going to support you and defend you. There you go. William Woods, good luck. Thanks. Hopefully we'll get you on a debate stage with the governor.